In this video I'm going to show you how to make a game of Snake using the P5.js library and the RMBO.js library. I'm using P5 to draw on the canvas and program the game logic, and I'm using an RMBO patch to control the frame rate, speed, and audio changes. I'm going to go through getting and setting parameters, as well as sending and receiving messages to the inlets and outlets. And yeah, I think there's some pretty cool potential here to make some kind of generative game using RMBO. Um, so let's get into it. Okay, let's create a new folder for our project, and we'll call that Snake, and let's open that up straight with uh, Visual Studio Code. Here's the folder, and let's create a snake.html. And let's create a snake.js. And in the HTML file, all we need is uh, three links to the uh, scripts we're using. So I'll copy and paste that in. So that's the RMBO library, the uh, P5 library, and our snake.js. Uh, Control S to save. And then uh, our snake game, I'm going to copy and paste. And I'll make all these files available. I'm just going to copy and paste this in. So this is the the uh, logic for the game uh, using P5. Uh, so we'll hit Control S again, and then if we open our file back up and go in here, we'll grab this path, and then in a command prompt window, if we change directory into there, and we go npx http server, we'll spin up a server here and if we grab this IP address and paste that into our browser and go to the HTML file we'll see our game of snake which you can control with the up down left right keys so there's no RMBO uh, yet so let's go back and add that Okay, so it's quite simple, I think, to add uh, the RMBO device in here. Um, I will just copy and paste to save the time of writing the code out. Um, it's not too many lines of code, though. So in the setup, we need this here. And then straight underneath, uh, we need the async function like this and like that and then we need a, another function to start the context there we go like that and we need to do a uh, global declaration at the top here so audio context and device Okay, and hit Control S, and then again, if we grab this IP address, and we go here, and let's open the console, uh, do another refresh, uh, maybe refresh here, and we can see the playback was resumed, so the RMBO device started successfully, um, which is... Uh, from this line here and then there's an error here because it expects to uh, load a file but it can't find it because we haven't created it yet so it's looking for our uh, export here so let's go and create our max file now so you want to just create a RMBO object here and connect it to the DAC and then uh, just inside here. We'll just have out one and out two ready. And uh, the first thing we want to do is to create a metronome. And the metronome is going to control the speed of our audio, but it's also going to send out a message that we'll subscribe to. And uh, the metronome will also control the frame rate and the speed of the game. So we're going to create a transport. Oops. 
and we are going to uh, set the tempo and we'll use an integer box connect these up and we'll have a toggle to uh, turn the transport on and off and we'll create a parameter for that straight away uh, I'm not sure if we we'll use that actually good to have it make sure you set the value to 1 so that it uh, initializes uh, on um, and we'll create a parameter for our tempo uh, and we will set the min to 75 and the max to 225 and when it initializes it will have a value of 75 and uh, we'll create the metro and we'll have the metro send to the bang here and we'll have that going into the transport so that when we turn it on we've got the metro going um, and then so we're going to do a out here we'll call it out three and so every time this metro bangs it's going to print a message to out three and then later we're going to subscribe to that and we're going to use it so that every time a bang is sent here it's going to draw a frame or render a frame uh, in the game so next thing I want to do is create an in and connect it to a bang and what we're going to do later is we're going to uh, in the JavaScript we're going to say that every time the snake eats an apple it's going to send a message into the RMBO and it's going to bang this button and it's going to play a sound so uh, I've already got my patch made so I'm just going to copy it in um, I will show you guys and I will also upload the file so I'm going to call this eat and it's going to look like this and so when the snake I'll just connect these up when the snake eats the apple it will uh, bang in here and it's going to make a sound like this and it will randomize a bit okay and then uh, we're going to make like a step sequencer kind of thing uh, so we we'll use a counter we're going to count uh, the bangs here uh, we'll plus one here and then we will use a integer box to check that and then we're going to select one two three four and then we'll send one two three and four to different bangs so just like four four timing and then there we go and we'll put in we'll make a uh, kick snare hi-hat so I'm going to use something that I've already got here so I'm going to use this Oops, don't need that one and connect that so that can be our kick on the first beat just stretch this out so we've got a little bit more room Okay, and then we're going to put in our snare, which looks like this, which is really just noise. Oh, we'll put that on the third beat and connect that. Okay, and then we will make a hi-hat sound with this one and connect that to cool so that's going to be our patch that we'll use so we'll go over here to the export sidebar and we'll choose the uh, JavaScript web export 
and we need to choose our file, which is here, or wherever it was that you made it, select that folder, and it's looking for snake.export, so change that name there, uh, and let's click export, and that will take a minute or so to run. There you go, you can see we've got our patch all working, it's all set up. We won't need to come back to this again now. So we'll turn that off for now. Um, and now we'll go back to our code and we'll go back to our test environment and we'll refresh here. And now you can see the uh, export is loaded into our file. And when we go back in here, it should play some audio for us. But at the moment, it's not really doing anything. So we need to write some code now. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use uh, this out here to control uh, the frame rate so that the audio is in sync with the frame rate. So we will remove the frame rate from the function setup and we'll tell it here uh, not to loop so that it doesn't draw any more frames by itself. And then in here we will uh, subscribe to the message event. So with the device uh, message event subscribe. Uh, like this, and we'll say uh, if here, so if, so if we receive a message from out three, uh, we will we'll log it to the console so that we can see it working. We'll say received out three. Uh, and we will also uh, redraw, so draw the next frame. And like that. Cool. And then uh, the next thing we're going to write in will be this in one. So we're going to write that every time the snake eats an apple, it's going to send a bang here and it's going to play a sound. So that will look like this down here, uh, down in eat. So we're going to we'll go, uh, I think we can go here, we'll go under here, struct um, RMBO and we'll call it event one. We'll say new. this and then we need to send the event cool and control s to save um, and then we're also going to do something else that when the snake eats the apple, it has a 50% uh, chance, let's say, of increasing the tempo. Um, and then it has a 50% chance that when the tempo is increased, it has a 50% chance to decrease it back. So that's just, uh, that's controlling the uh, parameter here. So we're going to target this parameter and we're going to go from 75 to 225 uh, just based on a bit of random chance. So I might just copy this over from my 
uh, notes here. Um, yeah, we'll just do this to save some time. Just like this. And then we can go back here. Control Shift R to do a refresh. And let's go into the snake HTML again. You can see that now the snake is moving on the uh, beat of the metronome. And when the snake hits, it will make a sound. And there's a 50% chance uh, that the snake is going to uh, eat the apple and increase the tempo. chance that it will slow down as well. So I think I'll finish the video there. Uh, a few things that we demonstrated, we subscribed to a message event from the outlet um, and we used that to set our frame rate and then we sent a message to an inlet that banged a sound when the snake uh, interacted with the apple and then we uh, also put in some stuff that uh, controlled, adjusted this parameter. Um, there's a lot more that you could continue to add. Um, I think there's some cool potential here, like I said. So let me know what you guys think.